Alright, brother, let's do a, a reading of the Psalms. Starting at 25, Psalm 25, the Psalm of David. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress in thy cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation on thee, do I wait all the day. I remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. I remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgression. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. For all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquities, for it is great. For what man is he that feareth the Lord? Him that shall teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shew them his covenant. For my eyes are retold the Lord, for he shall pluck away my feet from the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged, O bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my afflictions and my pain, forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, they hate me with cruel hatred. And keep my soul, and deliver me, lest me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, from all his troubles. Alright, Psalm 26. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocency, and I will compass thine altar, O Lord, I, I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all thy wonders, all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thine house, and the place where thy honor dwelleth. And gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, and the congregation will I bless, bless the Lord. And Psalm 27. Alright, Psalm, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength, is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came up upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire of his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, and he shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my, well, my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy, will sing, I will sing praises unto the Lord. 
Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me, and answer me when thou sayest, Seek ye my face, and my heart said unto thee, Seek thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave, not, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God, and my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy ways, O Lord, lead me in the plain path because of my enemy. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are rise up, risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, and I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait in the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Right, Psalm 28. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me. Lest if thou be silent, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked, and with the workers of iniquity, which speech peace unto to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds, and according to the, the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and in my song I will praise him. The Lord is, the Lord is their strength, and he is a saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Psalm 29. Give unto the Lord, ye mighty, give unto the Lord in strength, glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness, beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory thundereth, the Lord is upon the many waters, the voice, the voice of the Lord is powerful, the voice of the Lord is full of majesty, the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars, yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon, and maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Sirian like the young unicorn, and the voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. And the voice of the Lord maketh his hymns to cough, and discovereth the forest and his temples, that everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth, sitteth upon the flood, yea, the Lord is, sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 30. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord God, I have cried to thee, and thou hast healed me. Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down unto the pit. Sing unto the Lord, ye his saints, and his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life weeping. May endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in prosperity I said, I shall then be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong, and I did hide my face when I was troubled. I cried, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made my supplication. For profit is there in my blood. When I go down to the pit, shall thus praise thee, shall declare thy truth. 
Here, O Lord, have mercy upon me, thou be my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast not put off my sackcloth and girding me. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girding me with gladness, to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to thee forever and ever. Psalm 31. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Hear me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have privily have laid privily for me for thou art my strength into thine hand I commit my spirit thou hast redeemed me O Lord God of truth I have hated them that regard lying vanities but I trust in the Lord but I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy for thou hast considered my trouble thou hast known my soul in adversity Thou hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes, my eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and in my belly. For my life is spent in grief, and my years with sighing, and my strength faileth because of my in iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was reproached among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintance, they that did see me without fled from me. So I'm forgotten as a dead man out of mind, I'm like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander. I heard the slander of many, and fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life, but I trusted in, the, trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thine hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and save me for thy mercy's sake. I may not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee, let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lionless be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. But thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. So blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I, for I said in my haste, I am cut off from thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou hast heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. O Lord, O oh, love the Lord, ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentifully rewarded the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. 32. Of Psalm 32. Right, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my roaring all day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me, my moisture is turned into the drought of summer, Salah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, my iniquity I have not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And I forget you will see iniquity of my sin, Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall come. 
nigh unto him thou art. In hiding place thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with the songs of deliverance, Salah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go, I will guide thee with mine eye. Be not as the horse or as a mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held with a bit and riddle, lest they come near unto thee. So many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusts in the Lord, and mercy shall compass him about thee. Glad in the Lord, and rejoice ye righteous, and shall for joy all ye that are upright in heart. Psalm Joy see in the Lord, ye righteous. For praise is coming for the upright. Praise ye, Lord, with the harp. Sing unto him with the psaltery, with an instrument, and strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully, with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his uh, works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. And the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord by the words. The word of the Lord, the heavens are made, and all the hosts of them, by the, the breath of his mouth. <clears throat> and he gathered the waters of the sea together, as in heap, and he laid up the depth in the storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done, he commanded, and stood fast. Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to none, he maketh the devices of the people to none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, that the thoughts of his heart to all generations blessed. It is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he hath chosen for his inheritance, his own inheritance. The Lord looketh down from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men from him. The place of his habitation he looketh upon the inhabitants of the earth, and as fashioneth. He fashioneth their hearts alike, he considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host, and a mighty man is not delivered by much strength, and an horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. So behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him upon them in that hope and his mercy to deliver their soul from death to keep them alive in famine our soul waiteth for the lord and he is our help and shield for our heart we shall rejoice in him because he have trusted and his holy name so let thy mercy o lord be upon us according as we hope in thee psalm 34 <clears throat> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hither over the blood. O magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me. And deliver me from all my fears. They looked unto him more light, and in their faces no shame. For this poor man had cried. The Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And the, the angel of the Lord campeth. The angel of the Lord encampeth about them, and fear him, and delivereth them. Taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that putteth his trust in him. I fear the Lord his saints. There is no one in them that fear him. For the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But 
they that fear the Lord shall not lack or want anything. Come, ye children, hearken to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. For what is he that desireth life? So what is a man that he desireth life? That he may love many days, that he may see good. Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking vile. Depart from evil, do good. Seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and the ears are open unto their cry. So the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. So the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of the troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. So many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. So he keepeth all his bones, that one of them is broken. And evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Thirty-five. Psalm 35. So plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of the shield and buckle it and stand up for mine help. Draw out also a spear and top. Salt the way against them that persecute me and say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them, for without a cause they have hid from me their net in a pit, or without cause they have digged from my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, let his net that he, that he hath hid catch himself that he, into that very destruction, let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice salvation. And all my bones shall say, O Lord, was like unto thee, which thou deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yea, the poor and needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, and they laid to my charge things I knew not. They rewarded evil. Evil, for good to the spoiling of my soul, but as for me, when they were sick, I was clothed in sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned unto my own bosom. And I behaved myself. I behaved myself as though he had been a friend or brother. And I bowed down heavily as one that mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together, yea, the head jacks scattered themselves together against me. And I against me and I knew it not. They did tear tear me and cease not. So with hypocritical mockers and feasts they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Oh Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destruction and my darling from the lions. I will give you thanks in the very congregation. I will praise thee among the people. Let not, let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Uh, let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are in that are quiet in the land. They they open their mouths wide against me and say, "Aha, aha! Our eye has seen it." This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silent. Be not far from me, stir up thyself. Awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God. And my Lord, judge me, O Lord God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Aha, so we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice in my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, and that magnify themselves against me. But let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. And say, continue, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in prosperity of his servant, and my 
tongue shall speak of thy righteousness, and the and I shall and I praise all the day long. Psalm thirty six. All right, well, the transgression of the wicked say with, within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes, and until his iniquity be found to be hateful. For the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He is left off to be wise, and, to, and he deviseth a mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He poureth, he poureth not the evil. But thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds, thy righteousness is in the great mountains, thy judgments are a great deep, O Lord, thou preserveth man and beast. So how excellent is thine loving kindness, O, o God, therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thine wings, and they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thine house. And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of the pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. The, there are the workers of iniquity fallen, they are cast down, they shall not be able to arise. Psalm 37. So fret not because of evildoers, but neither be envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and they wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily shall be fed. The light thyself also, when Lord, he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not because of him that who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. For yet yeah, there is a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, though shalt, thou shalt dil diligently consider his place, it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and they have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as to be of right conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth, upholdeth the righteous. The Lord who knoweth the, the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. He shall not be ashamed. He shall not be ashamed in the equal time. In the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs, and they shall consume with the smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth for such as be blessed. Such as be blessed of him that shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, but the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth and his seed is blessed. Depart from me, will do good, and dwell forever, forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, 
and, forsake, and forsaketh not his saints, they are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, the righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue taketh of the judgment. For the law, the law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off, and thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself as a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. I saw him, but he cannot be found. Make the perfect man, or mark the perfect man, and um, behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them, and deliver them, and shall deliver them from the wicked, and save them, because they trust in him. Uh, Psalm 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thine hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand press me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For iniquities are going over my head, as a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. As my wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness, my foolishness, I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all day long. For my loins are filled with loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh, and as I am feeble and so broken, and have roared by reason of the disquietness of mine heart. For Lord, all my desires are before thee. My groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, and strength faileth me, as for the light of mine eyes is gone from me. My lovers and friends stand aloof from my store, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me. And I seek my seek my hurt, speak mischievous things, and imagine deceit to hold the day long. So I as a deaf man I heard not, and as a dumb man that opened not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and whose mouths are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope that I would hear, O Lord my God. For I say hear thus otherwise that you rejoice over me, when my foot slippeth they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I would declare my iniquity and be sorry for mine sin, but mine enemies are lively and they are strong. They that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. So forsake me not, O Lord, and O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, of mine salvation. Our last one for now, number 39, Psalm 39. I said I will take heed in my ways, that I would sin not in my tongue. I said I will take heed in my ways, that I sin not in my tongue, and I will keep my mouth from the brittle while the wicked are before me. So I was dumb with silence, I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow stirred. My heart was hot within me, and I was musing on fire burned. And I spake I with my tongue. Lord, make me to know mine end in the measure of my days what it is, that I may know how frail that I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man in his best state is altogether vanity. Salah. So surely every man walketh in a vain shoe, surely they are disquieted in vain. He uh, heapeth up riches, and knoweth not, and shall gather them. And now, O Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions, and make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb, and I opened not my mouth, because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me, for I am consumed by the blow of thy hand. So when thou with, when thou with rebukes hath correct man, for iniquity thou makest his beauty to consume away as a moth. 
Show every man his vanity so loud. So hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my cry, hold not my peace and my tears, as I am a stranger with thee, and so a joiner as all my fathers were. And spare me, that I may recover strength, for I go hence, and be no more. Alright, good night, brother. God bless you.